let's try to start this season off right. Season 1 was very good. So let's try and make Season 2 the same. Robinson Cano is in the lineup this game too. This is the World Series reward you get uh, from the previous season. He is a 90 overall. He's playing second base, of course. Uh, you could also buy him on the market. I'm pretty sure he is around 45. Yeah, 45,000 stubs right now. Good stats too. He has very good contact versus right. He's 103. 78 versus lefties. Power is not bad. 79 versus lefties is alright. But 68 versus righties I wish was a little bit better. 93 vision is definitely good. And the fielding stats are definitely good too. So everything is not bad. I just wish the power versus righties was a little bit better. But who knows. I've used a lot of cards so far with... Mediocre power at best and they've they've done very well what I did today in the lineup I put Corey Seager at third base because Arenado has a very bad inside edge today That's the first time I've seen Arenado with a bad inside edge. He has minus seven versus righties So once that's gone, he will be back. So anyway, I'm rambling on now. Let's start it off with a win Hopefully I also have that 90 overall Brett Saberhagen too. So hopefully he takes the mound as well He has Cindergaard on the mound I have not faced him yet. Oh, damn it. Corey Kluber has a bad inside edge, too. I didn't even realize that. He has Lou Brock, Miggy, Edwin, Sanchez, Lindor, Dozier, Chris Bryant, and Cespedes. Good team. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize that Kluber had a bad inside edge. He would have been out if I knew that. Lou Brock is almost a guarantee to get on base. Not only that, once he gets on base, he'll be stealing every bag without a problem. Keep everything up. I'm hoping for a flyout. Lou Brock put something on the ground. That's an infield single all the way. Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Sit down, Lou Brock. I don't know, man. I can see Miggy going to a diamond at some point this season. I can't see him struggle again. That just doesn't make sense. The word Miguel Cabrera and struggle doesn't fit in the same sentence. No way Hanley made that play. Hanley is out of his mind. That is exactly what I'm saying. He has to be in the game. He does everything. He doesn't just get base hits everywhere you look. He makes those plays in the field. Wow. He doesn't have a lot of break to his pitches. So his slider. Damn, that was a bad swing. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of break to his pitches. So I don't know. Come on, Trout. Start it off the right way, buddy. Trout is picking up where he last off. What? He's picking up where he where he left off. I said he's picking up where he last off. What the hell am I even thinking by doing that? Wait a minute. I missed that? Kluber doing well so far. It is only the second, so I'm might be speaking too soon, but so far he's doing all right. Kluber is just somebody I find my spots with. That's uh oh, actually that wasn't bad. But yeah, Kluber actually finds I find my spots with Kluber on the mound, man. It was the same thing last year too. Just somebody I can find my spots with. Seems to be swinging at a lot of pitches so far. Good sinker, nice pitch. Maybe strikeouts will happen more often now that everything. Has apparently been fixed. Napoli is also back in. I don't know, man. This Napoli destroys the ball. Every time he puts the ball in play, it's, it's hit hard. So I don't really want to take him out. He's done well the last couple of games, too. Same thing with Tro. He got off to a bad start. Ever since then, he's been on fire. Why did I swing at that? Through the hole. No way. No way, yeah. Even with horrible speed. Let's go, Cano. Let's go. Damn it. I really don't know how I missed that one either. Yeah, I was over it. That makes sense. I was over that ball. So that's all right. Cano, I don't know, man. Cano has one of those glitchy stances and swings, too. I thought, wait, what's happening? Took a very strange route to that. 
year. <laughs> well, that was bad. Chris Bryant. Every everyone I've played so far with Chris Bryant is doing that. Chris Bryant is a glitch. That was horrible. Can you only imagine if Cindergard had that single? Shut up. He is not even thinking about it again, is he? What? Lou Brock! This dude's hitting sliders at the feet! Somebody stop that man! Get this. Fucking Lou Brock, man, is the number one glitch in MLB The Show history. That's a base hit. Get down. Come on! I'm swinging everything now. Calm down. If I'm going to swing at the first pitch, it's Mike Trout has to. Trout may have done it again. You're joking! He seems to be swinging away. Nice attempt. I'm still in shock as to what Lou Brock did. How did he do it? Get this below the zone. If it's below the zone, this will work. That wasn't a bad pitch. Off the plate inside. This also has to be below the zone. Nice. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like strikeouts might happen more. The only problem I have with Kluber is I, yeah, I can't really locate anything inside the lefties. No, stay away, Kluber. I don't understand that. The pitcher will be out there going crazy, waving everybody off. Move your ass! That's staying in. Son of a bitch. What's everyone noticed about this uh, patch so far? Is everybody liking the patch? I don't know, man. I haven't really noticed anything that's been the same. Like, that was a low pitch to Cruz. And, you know, sometimes a PCI would drop below the zone. Didn't drop below the zone right there. So everything PCI related seems to be better. I'm not sure if it's 100% fixed, but it seems better. Yeah, I haven't really noticed that many pitches where... What the hell? What's that? That's the worst attempt I've seen. Damn it! Pitch speed has definitely changed, though. That's one thing I've definitely noticed. Is that pitch speed has increased. What the fuck am I swinging at? How did that not hit him? I have zero idea how I'm missing these high pitches. Note to self, don't throw Chris Bryan a low slider. Because he will turn that thing to left field, and it will sail out of here. Nice. He was on it, but nice. This one can come back. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Throw him out, Cruz! He is chasing everything. It seems that's supposed to be above. Should be made. That is the third out. Man, this is, I don't know. I've been saying the last couple of videos that most games you play will have a lot of hits, a lot of runs scored. That's not the case lately. Corey Kluber might be raking at the plate. Somehow land. Damn it, man. Why'd I swing at that? That's crushed. Domi! Continues to be on fire! Doby is out of his mind. <laughs> Why? No chance. He is not laying down a bunt now. He has shown he wants to bunt. I'm not letting that happen. Catch this. Please catch this. 
Thank God. Whenever Lou Brock doesn't get on base, that's a success. That is the worst 0 2 pitch of all time. If I don't locate this again, that wasn't bad. Got the strikeout. I don't understand. But why? Anyway, that will be it for this video. Hope everyone enjoyed. Unfortunately, it wasn't a full game, but it's all right. Cano will be back in, like I'm saying. And Arenado will most likely be back at third base, too, once his inside edge is, is back, because it is horrible today. So once that is fixed, he will be back at third base. I need to start using that Mike Piazza. I need those stats. I still have a lot of stats to rack up with that Piazza so I can get the Immortal. Anyway, that'll be it. Hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, subscribe as well. I will see everybody in the next video.